Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in this video you are going to learn how to share your real estate brochure PDF on WhatsApp with customers, right? So let's see what is happening here. So you have received a new form submission in a form that has been created by Elementor Forms application, right? And this form is filled by a customer who want to purchase property in your city. And you want to send him or her the brochure of the real estate properties on the WhatsApp account. Now, as we have used here Elementor form to build the inquiry form, you can use any other form building application like Jot form or Pebbly form builder. And we are using WhatsApp, which is uh, a widely used instant messaging application. And you guys already know about it. Now suppose that you are a real estate consultant or you are running a website in which you have listed all the properties and real estates you have in your city. And uh, you have connected a Elementor form in your website in which you are taking inquiries for the interested people who want to purchase the property. So whenever you receive an inquiry here in Elementor form, you want to send the brochure of the real estate here on the WhatsApp account of the person who have filled the form. Now to get this done, you have two ways. That one is whenever you receive an inquiry, for, inquiry here in Elementor form, you manually sort out the data of the person and then manually compile a message for each and every inquiry and send here on WhatsApp. But this process is very tiresome and repetitive if you are receiving hundreds of inquiries on daily basis. So we have a better way for you. What if I tell you that as and when you receive an inquiry here in an Elementor form, a message get automatically delivered to the person who have filled this form along with the brochure of real estate properties. Yes, guys, this can happen and this can be done by connecting Elementor forms and WhatsApp. But the issue is there is no direct connection or integration present between Elementor forms and WhatsApp. So to connect these two applications, I am using a software called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software. And the best part of it is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge to make this connection between Elementor Forms and WhatsApp. So now let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection between Elementor Forms and WhatsApp is going to work in real time. So guys, this is the page I have created in which I am listing the properties of my city, the real estate properties. And here I have attached a form created with the help of Elementor forms. And this is a form to get the brochure on the WhatsApp of the properties we have in our city, right? And this is the WhatsApp account of one of the customer, let's suppose. So what I'm going to show you is that I'll fill this form here on the behalf of any customer who is interested to buy properties and uh, we will see if he receives the brochure on his whatsapp account or not so let me fill this form here so i have filled the details uh, the name of the interested customer is harsha tarayada who want to buy property so we are going to send the brochure to her on the whatsapp so let's see i am clicking on the send details on whatsapp and uh, you can see the form was sent successfully and we have received a new message here. Let me show you. So the message is this. Hello, Ashatara Yadav. Thank you for your sh for showing your interest in 91 acres. This is the name of my website. And one of our team members will contact you shortly. Meanwhile, you can check our brochure, which we have attached with the message. You can find all the services we, will, we offer in our real estate properties. And here is the link of the brochure we have attached. All right. So you can see the brochure here also. So this is the brochure of the properties we have, right? So this is how it is going to work. And now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this message here on the WhatsApp account without any manual compilation of this message, just by filling this Elementor form here that I have attached in my website page. So guys, now let me give you the easiest possible steps by which you can also make this automation or connection between your Elementor form and WhatsApp. So these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between Elementor forms and WhatsApp. So step one is 
connect pably connect to elementor form with the help of webhook url so first of all we are going to open pably connect and connect our elementor form with pably connect then second step is collect the data from elementor forms in pably connect so in second step we are going to deliver the response from the elementor forms to here in pably connect and third step is send the brochure in a new message on whatsapp via 360 dialog all right so in the final step we are going to deliver the brochure according to the details we have received in pably connect on the whatsapp account of the customer and to do this we are going to use another application which is called 360 dialog so i'll tell you what 360 dialog is later on in this video first of all let's jump back to our step one and open pably connect so you have to open your internet browser first and type here p-a-b-b-l-y that is pably.com so this is the landing page of pably here you have to put your cursor on this products icon and click on connect now from here you can set up your free pably connect account in just two minutes by clicking here on sign up free button and i have already done this so i'm going to click on sign in directly after signing in you will find this all apps section of pably from here come to this pably connect panel and click on access now all right so this will bring you to the dashboard of pably connect so to start working here you have to create workflows like these so to create a workflow you have to click here on this create workflow button like this and here you can enter any relevant name to your workflow so let me fill so I filled the name as real estate brochures from Elementor forms to WhatsApp, right? Now I am clicking on create here. So as in when your workflow get created, you will see these two things, the trigger and the action. So Pably connect work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pably connect, please do this. All right. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new form submission here on Elementor forms and the action would be to send the brochure on whatsapp all right so first of all click here on this trigger window and from this choose app choose your application as elementor so this is elementor we have now after this it will ask for the trigger event so in trigger event select this new form submission and this will generate this url so this is called as a webhook url right so to connect Elementor, first of all, you have to copy this URL from here by clicking on copy. Then you have to go to your uh, page. So this is our page and this is our form. Now from here, click here on this edit with Elementor. So after clicking on it, the editor will open up. Right. So this is our editor of our page. From here, scroll down and come to your Elementor form. Click here and uh, you will find this uh, in the on the left hand side, you will find this content option. And when you scroll down here, you will find this actions after submit option. So click on actions after set submit and here search W E B H O O K that is webhook search for it and then click on this webhooks option that appears and you will find a field here called as webhook url field so in this field you have to paste the url that you have copied from pably connect like this so paste it here in this webhook url field all right after this click on this green button which is update button click on it all right after this click on this icon and click on exit to dashboard all right so uh, the form is updated and we added the webhook now open the page by clicking on view page so you can see in pably connect after copying this webhook url it started showing waiting for the webhook response it means it is time to apply our second step which is which is to bring the data from Elementor forms to here in Pably Connect. So to do to do this, you have to fill the form again. So I'm opening the form. This is the page and here is the form. So I'm filling it again with different things. All right. 
So I have filled the form with the name Sang Jen and now I am going to click on send on send details on WhatsApp. Alright, the form was sent successfully. Now let's check in Pabli Connect if it has captured something. So the data that has been filled in the form is captured here like this, you can see. Alright, so the connection is working properly. We are connected with our Elementor form. Now it is time for our next step which is so the next and the final step is send the brochure in a new message on WhatsApp via 360 dialog. So now it is time to send the brochure on the WhatsApp account and to do this we are going to use an application which is called 360 dialog. So now I will tell you what 360 dialog is and how we are going to use it. So now in Pabli Connect click on this action window and from this choose app choose the application as 360 WhatsApp by 360 dialog. All right. So now you guys are wondering why we are using this application. Actually to send messages on WhatsApp, you must have the access of WhatsApp's chat API. So 360 dialog is an application which have the official access of WhatsApp, WhatsApp's chat API. So by using this application, we can send messages on WhatsApp directly and easily. So now in this action event, select send template message option. Then click on connect. And if you are making the connection with 360 dialog for the first time, you have to select this add new connection and it will ask for these two things, the API key and the domain name. So from where you will find these two things. So you have to go to a 360 dialog account and move to WhatsApp account page to generate a API key. So let me bring you to my 360 dialog account. Here it is. So you can also set up your own 360 dialog account. And I suggest you to do that use our link that we have pasted in the description box and by using that link you can avail the services of 360 dialog in very affordable prices and here I am going to click on the whatsapp accounts pages and here you will see this button which is called generate API key button so by clicking on this button you can generate your own key after this copy that key and paste the key here in this API key field. All right. And while generating the key, you will get the domain name, which will look like this. All right. So generally the domain name is same as this. So you can paste this link also. After pasting these two things, you just have to click on save and your connection will be made. Right. So I, this, this is for the first time. So generating the API key is one time ta task only. After generating the key, you can use the same key to make the connections afterwards. And as I have already uh, made a connection with 360 dialog in a different workflow. So you can choose existing connection also as I'm choosing and click on save. And you can see it started showing connected. That means we are connected with 360 dialog account. All right, now it is asking for the template. So what are these templates? Let me show you in my 360 dialog account. I'm clicking on this manage templates op button. And here are the templates we have in 360 dialog. So let me open one for you. So this is one typical template. So these templates are nothing but the messages we want to send on face, uh, fa uh, WhatsApp. All right. So to avoid spamming first you have to create such templates here in your 360 dialog and to do that you have to click here on add template button and from here you can name your template you can select the category of your template the language of your template and the type of your template and in this body you can enter the main message that you want to send after this click on the submit button from here and after submitting your template, what will happen? WhatsApp's parent company that is Facebook will review your template and get your template approved. All right. So the standard time of template approval is 30 minutes to 48 hours. But generally it takes only a few hours in real time to get your template approved. So after getting your templates approved, you can use them to send messages on WhatsApp very easily. All right, so it is asking for which template I want to use here in this template field. 
So when I click here, you will find a list. So this is the list of all approved templates we have in 360 dialog. So I am using the template, which is this sand brochure final template. So after selecting the template, this namespace field get automatically filled and the language code also because we have the templates in only one language, which is English. So EN is the code. After this, it will ask for recipients mobile number. So here you have to map the number of the person who have filled the form. So you will find the number here, which which is captured like this. So to map this number, click here on this recipient mobile number field and click on Elementor option and map this number like this. So you have to enter this number in this format. So uh, please put a plus sign here also. All right. So after this, it is asking for these body field one, two, three, four and five. So what are these body fields? So let me show you in my 360 dialog account. So the template we are using is this sand brochure template. And you can see we have this one, two, three, four, five and six and double curly braces. So these are the body fields we have in the template. So body fields are nothing but the variables of our message. So as you can see after hello, we are going to put the name of the person who have filled the form. So with every new message, the name is going to change. And after this, in this, this second body field, this is also so these are the variable things which are that are going to change with every new message. So to get these things filled automatically, in a new message, you have to map the values of these body fields here in Pabli Connect. All right. So for the first field is for name. So I am going to map the name from the same uh, area from this Elementor option like this. And in the second field, your interest in. So here I'm going to put the name of our company, which is this which is this 91 acres, right? So here I'm going to fill it manually. And in the third field, let us see. So uh, which we offer. So we our offering is related to the properties. So here I'm going to enter real estate properties. And after that, here I'm going to paste the link of the brochure. So this is our brochure and I'm going to create a link by clicking on share. Right. So here you, you will get the link. So copy, click on copy link and paste the link here in this body field. After this, in this body field five, we are going to enter the website address. This is our address. Paste it here. And in the body field six, let's see. Okay, after regards, we are going to put the name of the firm only, which is 91 acres only. So I'm entering this. All right, so the all the body fields are mapped and filled now. Now when I click here on save and send test request, this data according to our template will get delivered on the WhatsApp. So let me click here on save and send test request. So you can see it started showing this type of response and we have received a new message also. Let's check what is in the message. And the message is this. Hello, Sang Zen. Thank you for showing your interest in 91 acres. And uh, one of our team members will contact you shortly. And the services which we offer is our real estate properties. So this is these are the same things that we have entered here and mapped here in these body fields. So according to this, whole thing and the template we have used the message is delivered all right so the connection is working fine now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all we connected elementor form in the trigger option and with the help of this url we connected the form and then we captured the response like this after this we connected the 360 dialog application to send messages on whatsapp then we selected the template and according to the template, we filled and mapped the data which is required. All right. And when I click on save and send test request, this data is delivered as a new message here. Now just click on save here. 
and now let me tell you one more important thing that is you can use this workflow or make this workflow run 100 times in a month with the help of Pabli Connect's free account because Pabli Connect's free account provides you 100 free tasks every new month. So if 100 tasks are sufficient for you, you can use Pabli Connect for free forever. Also, we are going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description box which you can clone it in your own Pabli Connect free account and start using that. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you want any other type of integration, you can contact us at admin at the rate You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pabli Connect and automate your business with Pabli Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.